de Janeiro, first city of Brazil and home of nearly two million friendly people. etched the master blueprint. The Carioca, as a resident of Rio is called, blended it with the craft and the skill of his architects and engineers and produced a modern, elegant, and sophisticated metropolis. Rio's downtown district is devoted principally to business, commerce, and government. Here on the impressively wide Avenida Rio Branco, or on the streets to the right and left, is where the Carioca works. Crossing and crisscrossing the Avenida are narrow streets restricted to pedestrians. Here are the smaller business places and smart shops. Piercing the sky of downtown Rio is the railroad terminal, a skyscraper of functional design. Typical of Rio's many banking institutions is this fine modern structure. Here in downtown Rio are the government buildings. The War Department. The Labor Department. The Federal Mint the Air Ministry, the Foreign Office, the Ministry of Justice, the Department of Agriculture. The monument in the foreground honors Brazil's great statesman, Baron Rio Branco. The Department of Education. The artwork which adorns the tiled walls was done by Brazil's great contemporary painter, Candido Portinari. 
the treasury, reception halls and offices attractively designed are spacious, air-conditioned, and well-lighted. Less than five minutes' drive from the heart of downtown Rio is the city's beautiful airport for land and seaplanes. Appropriately, it was named in honor of the great Brazilian pioneer of the air, Alberto Santos Dumont. Though government and commerce dominate the scene of downtown Rio, the arts and the sciences are well represented here. The Teatro Municipal is the home of the Rio Philharmonic Orchestra and host to world-renowned concert artists and opera companies. The public library close by houses fine collections of rare books, maps, and coins. Leaving the downtown area and proceeding along the beautifully shaded marine drive toward Sugarloaf Mountain, one arrives in the Flamengo district. Here, facing the seawall, begins an endless chain of modern apartment houses. In and among this man-made forest of stone and marble stands the Catetti Palace, executive offices of the president and his immediate staff. Continuing along the bay, one soon arrives at one of Rio's famous landmarks, Sugarloaf Mountain. For a small fare, a sturdy and dependable cable car takes you to its peak. A breathtaking view greets the eye. But there are many beautiful views in this fantastic city. Copacabana Beach. Hardly more than a decade ago, this avenue, flanked by smart hotels, apartments, and casinos, did not exist. Today, Copacabana Beach is famed in story and song the world over. There are many bays and many beaches. There are quiet lakes and lovely parks, too. For those who like sailing and boating, there are clubs like this one. Laid in a picturesque setting is the Jockey Club. Well known to its patrons is this thoroughbred, Albatross. His stable mates, El Faro, and the proud son of a proud parent, son of Quanti, have their loyal supporters. As night falls and the lights go on throughout the city, one gets a more distinct impression of Rio's beautifully carved profile. Night time, and Rio garbs herself in her golden necklace. Night time, and Rio is gay.
Yes, numerous and varied are the places available to the fun-loving carioca for diversion and play. During the summer season, the carioca usually goes to the mountain resort of Petropolis. Though less than two hours from Rio, this modern resort is situated nearly 3,000 feet above sea level. During the days of Imperial Brazil, Petropolis was the summer capital of the Emperor Don Pedro and has managed to preserve its 19th century charm. Like the city hall, all buildings and homes have a handsome, well-kept look about them. The museum houses treasured works of art. Visitors are shown the crown, which was once majestically worn by the beloved emperor, Don Pedro II, and the jewel, which belonged to the royal family. Metropolis is justifiably proud of its homes with their beautifully landscaped approaches and gardens. Proud, too, is Metropolis of its tennis club with its fine courts and attractive swimming pools. But it's this new hotel now being completed, which is making the pulse of the local citizens beat faster. Quintandinha, mark its name well. According to Mr. Joaquin Rola, its builder and one of Brazil's greatest showmen, the Quitandinha will be one of the famous hotels of the world. But while the Carioca has provided for himself and his family diversified places for play and amusement, he hasn't overlooked the other elements which contribute to a wholesome and healthy life. His free houses of worship, some centuries old, are quite definitely intertwined with his way of life. Carioca's way of life, like all Brazilians, is built around the sanctity of marriage, the family, and the home. Home may be in one of the thousands of attractive apartment houses erected throughout the city. Home may be in private residences like these. Wherever a Carioca's home may be, it is a very strong entity and a rich factor in his life. The school forms the third strong arm of the triangle, which includes the church and home. There are many schools, universities, and great research institutions available to the students, young and old alike. This is the medical college, one of the finest in Brazil, the College of Agriculture. Adjoining each other are the music conservatory and a school for the blind. An outstanding institution devoted to medical research is the Oswaldo Cruz Institute, which is carrying on the work of the world-renowned and venerated scientist, Dr. Oswaldo Cruz. His spirit will live forever in the hearts of a grateful people. Like all Brazilians, the Carioca looks upward to the soaring summit of Corcovado, here towers a 100-foot statue of Christ with arms outstretched in perpetual benediction over the capital of Brazil. Blessed indeed is this Carioca city, which nature, conspiring with man, has built here on the shores of Guanabara Bay. de Janeiro is a friendly city, a happy city, a scenic wonder of the world. Thank you.